what's up tribe how you guys doing go ahead and hit that subscribe button i hope you like this video this is the t.s madison experience season one episode five so before i get into my review i just want to send a sincere thank you thank you thank you and thank you again to we tv and the whole t.s madison crew my review was featured on we tv's twitter uh, T.S. put it on her Facebook, and so I want to just thank everybody, you guys. It, it is so appreciated. And, um, yeah, let's keep it moving. So, we start this episode off. Maddie seems like she's a little, you know, a little down, a little under the weather. I think everything is sort of getting to her. She's having a birthday. And, you know, for some people, birthdays can be two things. Either they're going to get you excited, or it's going to make you a little, maybe a little, little something, something. And I think with COVID and her not being able to be on the road and do what she's normally doing, I think she's in a little bit of a funk. And, you know, um, she's not doing any of her shows because her whole basement is being redone. So Maddie in the Morning, the Queen Supreme Court are all down. Um, she did the whole clapback situation. Allegra is not happy with her. So she just got a lot going on and feel us some kind of way about it. Now, she does come up with an idea for a new show, Maddie After Dark. And it's a matter of her trying to put it all together, get her vision on, get her vision out there. So she calls, um, you know, Tiffany New York, and she tells Tiffany, listen, I clap back, you know, my people feeling some kind of way about it, but listen, I had to do what I had to do. And Tiffany said, listen, I get it. Like, I gave you my advice, but you had to do what you had to do for yourself. I can't live your life for you, but you still my girl. I got your back. How are we rolling is how are we rolling. Like, and I feel you on that one, Tiffany. Because, you know, I have friends. Not so much now because I'm old. But when we were younger, you know, I had friends who was fighters. And you just already knew what it was going to be. And you might be at a club or you might be out doing whatever. And you could just see the look in, in her eyes and know, okay, we about to be fighting. You know, it's not the decision that I will make, but if I'm hearing you, my girl, if you fighting, we fighting. We, that's what it is. So, I feel you. Um, Maddie said, listen, I want you to be a part of the show. And Tiffany was like, okay, you know, I'm down like four flat tires. What's up? You let me know what it is. I know it's going to be a success. Let's do it. And so, you know, Maddie's putting it all together. She's, you know, the wheels are turning. And she's trying to figure it all out. And so, she's um, decided she's going to do the after dark. So, she's putting out the promo and putting everything out on her social media. And Legra comes by. And Legra said, listen, I am Maddie's manager. So, it is not my job to tell Maddie what to do. It is my job for her to tell me what she wants and for me to make sure. <laughs> Sorry. And to make sure it happens. Um, she told me that she wanted this global brand. She wanted to be, you know, the, the, the first black trans talk show host and all of this. So there's certain steps that we have to take to get there. Now, if you changing your mind and you don't want to do it anymore, that's cool. I'm going to roll with you. But as long as you put me in charge of, what is this on my shirt? As long as you put me in charge of trying to get you there, then you got to let me know if you changing, if you changing lanes, you make it a left turn instead of a right turn or a U-turn. And so Maddie was like, listen. I have to be, I have to figure out how to get what I want and still be my authentic self because here's what I can't do. And I feel like this is an issue that a lot of people deal with. You get to a certain level of success and in order for you to get to the next level, everybody wants you to change. But it's like, but well, wait a minute, this is how I got here. I got here doing X, Y, and Z. Now you're saying, well, in order to go to the next level, you got to change, but in the process, Am I going to lose my core audience? Because these are the people that's been rocking with me. These are the people that got here. Like the Maddie mob know I got to clap back every once in a while. The Maddie mob know that this is what it is. And so she said, Legra, I know we got the publicist. And I know we got the PR person. And I know we got all these people that we have employed to help me make my dreams come true. But this is what I need them to understand. This is who I am. And either they cool with it or they not. And that's fine. If they not cool with it, then we'll find somebody that is. If they can't figure out how to get me to that next level while I'm still being my authentic self, then I can't I can't use them. They're just not going to be, you know. And Allegra's thing was, listen, I'm here for that. But if you, you got to tell me, we just got to get on the same page. And she said, well, 
We're on the same page. Like I said, no, we're not. We're not even in the same book right now because you told me you wanted A, B, and C. And I hired these people and they told you what you need to do to get to A, B, and C. But you over here on C, D, E now. But you ain't never tell me you was going to C, D, E. We still over here at A, B, and C. And Maddie was like, well, look, Legra. Either you, either, either y'all going to be with me or you're not with me. Either you, are you with it or you're not? And of course, you know, Legra was like, girl, I'm with you. But you just gotta make sure we together. Like you, you can't be switching up on me and not telling me. She said, at least give me a heads up next time. And so she was like, sure, I'll give you a heads up next time. That's I'll do that. Um, and I like I said, I understand the struggle. Um, I definitely feel where Maddie's coming from. And you see a lot of people go through that. They have a brand and then they get to a certain point and people are telling them, Well, that's your brand, but you gotta do this to make it to the next level. And honestly, I think that's the difference between taking the elevator and breaking through the ceiling. I mean, you can take the elevator to get to the top, but if you break that ceiling, you get to the top on your own terms. So, you know, we'll see how it works out. So we see Maddie talking to Miss Mary, telling Miss Mary about her idea for her new show. Um, and baby, Miss Mary started get to talking to Maddie about her first orgasm. I said, I wasn't ready. I was not ready to find out about Miss Mary's first orgasm. I don't know if that was something I needed to know, but it was an interesting story. She said, Maddie, now when I was with your daddy, I mean, he did what he had to do, but baby, the man that I was with after your daddy, oh, 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 oh. And Maddie said, you had your first orgasm? She said, I didn't even know what it was, but I knew I liked it. Had me crying. Had me in my feelings, feeling some kind of way about it. I ain't know. Oh, my God. And so Maddie said, listen, she's going to be the first guest on my show. If I can get my mama to sit here and talk to me about her first orgasm, Miss, you know, Miss Praise the Lord, then I know I'm on the right trail, and this is what we're going to do. And so Tiffany ends up calling her, and Tiffany says, listen, I done ran this whole idea situation past my man, and he not really with it. So I love you, girl, and I got your back, but I'm going to have to support you from over here. She said, because, you know, I have to do what's, what's right for me in my relationship, and if this is something he's not comfortable with, he didn't tell me I could not do it, but he told me how he felt, and I have to respect that and make an adult decision. She said, but... You know, I got your back, girl. You know, I support this. She said, because if I did it, I don't think I would be able to be, be my authentic self and bring you what you want. Because, you know, we know Tiffany can get down and dirty. We know she can get nasty and raunchy. And her thing was, but if I show up, I'm not giving you what you really want. I'm just I'm just being real about it. So, Legra and Maddie go walk it. Listen, Maddie knows she ain't shit. She went walking and she is pulling bags of Doritos and corn and, and, and Cheetos out of her damn bra. Listen, y'all, my sister is like that with her bra. My, I have seen my sister pull lighters, keys, blunts. Like, I have seen my sister pull a little bit of everything out of her bra. And in my mind, I'm thinking, how the fuck, where did that even? Like, when you take your bra off at night, what falls out? Because, like, literally, I have seen you pull everything out of your bra. So, <laughs> Legra gets Maddie out the house so they can meet about what they're going to do for her birthday. So, we have Oliver, we have um, Chi-Chi and her mom, and they're coming up with a plan for what they're going to do for Maddie for her birthday. Now, while they're out walking, Maddie tells um, Legra, I want to do something I've never done before. I want to try to do something new. And so, Legra was like, okay, you're going to do something new? She said, yeah, I'm going to do something new. Now, the whole time they sitting there walking, child, she didn't pull, listen, she's still pulling stuff out of her damn bra. I said, you know what? What kind of exercise are you doing, Maddie? What kind of exercise are you doing, Maddie, when you're pulling stuff out the bra? Girl, y'all might as well just sat on the front steps and had a snack, okay? Anyway, Maddie decides that her co-host is going to be Chi-Chi, right? She is going to give Chi-Chi a, a makeover. She done took Chi-Chi down to the beauty supply to get Chi-Chi some wigs. And she said, this is my vision. And Chi-Chi is down for it, okay? Chi-Chi is excited. He said, I can't believe that she is finally ready to do to work with me. Like, I have been waiting for this. I, I'm excited. And he didn't even know what it was. He was like, I mean, but what are we doing? <laughs> ha! 
And he, uh, Maddie got him all in the beauty supply store trying on wigs and everything. And they having a good time. And they found some really cute wigs. She, she said, do I have to shave off my mustache? She said, uh-uh. You ain't got to shave your mustache off. You good to go. So she decides that she's going to have the, um, the show upstairs in her bedroom. And it's, it's Maddie after dark. It's starting, you know, 1130 at night. So that, you know, for the more sensitive, you know, ears and eyes, okay. And baby, Chi-Chi come through. And this blonde wig and this lingerie and these fishnet stockings. And Chi-Chi get the girls a good little dance, a good little, you know. And and made a whole entrance, okay. And Maddie got on her lingerie. And guess who the first guest of the night is? Miss Miss Mary come through in her lingerie looking cute. Miss Mary looks so cute in her little lingerie, honey. And Miss Mary was talking about how she liked being on top because she liked being in control. And Maddie said, what I mean, you, you, you went to a little BDSM? She said, I don't know what that is. What's that? And they told her what the BDSM was. And she said, mm. handcuffs, whips, and chains. Mm, I could do that. Mm -hmm. I said, I know that's right, Miss Mary. I, I remember, listen, I, I watched Maddie after dark date. Y'all better catch a Maddie after dark, honey. They gets it in, okay? Now, Legra said, listen, I caught the Maddie. That she picks uh, Maddie up. It's her birthday. She picks Maddie up to take Maddie out to go do something she's never done before while they are getting the house together for her, for her party. They had the chef come in, and they invited some of her other friends, and they're having an outdoor dinner and all that good stuff, right? So that's going down. So they take her out. And Legra said, listen, I caught the after dark. I'm not sure if that is on brand. Maddie said, listen, they loved it. The numbers are good. The response is good. What are you tripping about? She said, I'll tell you what. I'll stop cussing as much. I, 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 I'll stop cussing as much. I'm going to get it all out the way. And baby, she let out a whole slew. I mean, it was just one long bleep. She was getting it all out of her system. But Legra's telling her, and once again, Legra's like, listen, I done gave you my two cents on it. You can respond however you're going to respond, okay? You're going to do what you're going to do about it. I done said my piece. You can you can respond however you're going to respond to it. Um, They end up going to a ranch and Maddie's riding horses, right? Having a good time, you know, being Maddie. Of course, you know, all the jokes and puns about being on top of this horse and riding them hard, you know. And while they're doing that, the fellas are back at the house getting the house set up. Well, they got the little heat lamps, and they were delivered to the wrong house. So Chi-Chi says to Oliver and Craig, I need your help bringing the, the lamps over to the house. Now, let me say this. Chi-Chi and Oliver end up getting frustrated with Craig because Craig was like, yeah, no, I'm not dressed for that. Mm -mm. No. I'm not. It's mm -mm. not what I'm here for. Now, let me say this. On one hand, Craig, I'm with you, okay? When I get invited to a party, I get invited to a party. If you want me to be help, if you want me to help set up, then what you do when you call me for the invite and say, listen, the party is starting at 3, but I need you there by 2 because I need you to help me with some things. Then I know in my mind that I am party slash help, right? But if you say, listen, we having a party and it's starting at 3 and I get there at 2.45, just because y'all ain't ready don't mean it's my job to help. But now the flip side of that is because you, this is for TS and you know y'all got a limited staff there because of COVID and other situations, Craig, you could have helped them people out. But then on the other hand, it was only two lamps. It was two of them. What was Craig supposed to do? Like, what was Craig really supposed to do? But they got frustrated and irritated because they felt like Craig wasn't helping. They asked for Craig to help, and Craig was like, what? Which one would you do? And, of course, they were like, he's so bougie, and he's so this, and he's so that. But, like I said, I saw both sides of that coin. I ain't even going to lie. I saw both sides of that coin, and I'll be honest with you, I don't know. I might have been on the Craig side of that coin. Can somebody pour me a cocktail? Okay? So... They get T.S. back to the house, 
And of course she is surprised and she's happy to be there. Let me tell you what I did enjoy. I enjoyed that little outfit Chi Chi had on. The little Fendi, little with the with the green, the olive, the olive uh uh uh, uh hoodie situation. Chi Chi, that was cute. That was cute what you had going on, okay? But Maddie was surprised and she was loving the fact that her whole crew was there and, and they had a good a good a good evening. And so then Maddie let them know that she had another idea. And the other idea was that she wanted to take a road trip to Florida. It was time for them to get out, get away, spend some time together, bond. Maddie said this would be the perfect opportunity for them to be, she gonna rent an RV, they'll be there together and they can bounce their ideas off each other. They can be together and work on this. And they would go to Florida for a couple of days. Um, Maddie has a new nephew that um, she promised her mom that she would take her to go see and and take care of some other business that I think we're gonna see play out as the, um, as the, the rest of the episodes come go through. Now, a lot of y'all may not know, Maddie don't fly. I mean, she has flown, but if she can drive, she will drive. And when the Queen Supreme Court was on the road, Maddie drove probably 90% of the places that they went. They would load up an SUV, baby, and they would drive wherever it is that they needed to go. So for her, driving to Florida really ain't that ain't no thing. So she gonna get her uh, uh, RV, and they gonna get in the RV now. Oliver and Chi Chi are excited, because they from Florida, so they ready to rock and roll. Craig... I feel like Craig, if given the choice, is gonna meet them there. He gonna fly. First class meet them there i don't know and again i see both sides of the coin maybe i got a little bougie in me too i don't know but baby oliver said well if this is what we gonna do then i feel like we need to clear some things up before we get on the road because i was not appreciative of how craig handled the situation earlier we needed help craig did not uh participate craig was like what did you want me to do and it proceeded to become a whole argument between Oliver, Chi-Chi, and Craig. And they are going back and forth, back and forth. And poor Maddie is sitting there like, I don't believe this. She said, how the hell I'm going to get my team and we're going to get on the same page. And we can't even get through my birthday dinner. Like, they can't even act right for my birthday. How are we going to be in an RV with each other for a couple of days at a time if I can't even get them to act right for my birthday? I don't know, Maddie. I do not know, but I'm going to look forward to seeing how it work out. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Drop it in them comments. Peace.